these will be the first uh, real competitive uh, elections for the presidency in Egypt uh, in, in decades, and certainly since the, f the fall of Hosni Mubarak. There are four uh, candidates uh, in the lead. Uh, one is Amr Musa. Uh, the second is uh, Dr. Abu Fatou, who uh, is a f former leader of the Muslim Brotherhood, but was expelled from the party. Um, another front runner is Mohammed Mursi, who is uh, the leader of the Freedom and Justice Party. He's not a very uh, popular uh, he d uh, candidate, um, but of course the Muslim Brotherhood has a great potential to mobilize its constituencies. So he he could uh, still you know very much factor in to the elections. Um, and then there's a fourth candidate uh, um, uh, who is um, f uh, who was served in the prime minister position for a few days when Hosni Mubarak uh, nominated him for that position t during the uprisings as an attempt to quell uh, to quell the the protest. It didn't work, um, and he is uh, seen as. Uh, associated with the former regime. But these are the candidates, and, and this is the political scene right now in, in Egypt's uh, upcoming presidential elections. So the most critical uh, issues at play right now in Egypt, um, generally speaking, but also in terms of the presidential elections, are issues of economics and social justice. Um, the, the same issues that motivated people to take to the streets are the same issues that are of concern now because Egypt's economic uh, situation has only uh, worsened since uh, the uprisings. And the majority of uh, Egyptians who are, are living under the poverty line uh, in very you know, serious uh, conditions and that they want to see reversed. And so um, I think that Egypt's turmoil is uh, largely driven by the, the political situation and the lack of, of a clear roadmap uh, for transitioning the country to democracy. But meanwhile, I think the people themselves are less steeped in the nuances of uh, constitution making and uh, whether or not a uh, new president is an establishment figure or not, and more just concerned with what is their daily fare. Um, having said that, however, there is, of course, a very mobilized, uh, newly emerging political cla class in Egypt um, that is very con uh, concerned with these nuances, the political uh, dimensions of what's taking place in Egypt, and they are concerned about um, the continued rule of the military, and they would actually they would like to see a, a real change in the country's leadership. What happens if an Islam if Islamist uh, candidate is elected to uh, presidency? Um, is, is a question that I'm sure is on many people's minds, but in fact, the Islamists have already won a, a, a wide uh, majority in the parliament. Um, they are already a powerful political force in Egypt's political scene. Um, and this, they are part of the new reality in Egypt. Um, if uh, Abu Fatou or uh, the Muslim Brotherhood's candidate Mercy wins the presidential elections, um, that, that will solidify the Islamist uh, rule even further. Um, but even if that happens, we're not likely to see a major transformation in Egypt's foreign policy. Um, we're not likely to see a major transformation in terms of um, its, its external relations because the country is largely still dependent on uh, external assistance to address its, its uh, um, de huge deficit problems, its sh shrinking cash res reserves, its need to serve the population and, and answer their, their dire economic um, demands. What may change, of course, is you know, a, a 
growing conservatism within the social, uh, social scene within the country. Whether the, the Obama administration should take a position on the Egyptian presidential elections is a question um, that can easily be answered with a, a resounding no. Um, U.S. interference in Egyptian politics um, is, would likely only ha have further um, backlash for the U.S., which unfortunately has very little credibility and, and standing in the country right now. Um, and as Egyptians seek to reclaim their, their national sovereignty, um, I think it would be behoove Obama, the Obama administration not to take a position on the elections. And I, I don't think that they are contemplating that. Um, I think people are confident that whatever the outcome, um, Egypt's political transition is still largely contested. And no matter who wins the elections, it's, it's not clear who will be the power in the future. So um, getting behind one candidate or the, or the other doesn't lock in any particular result for the U.S. or for, for Egypt.